I spent years trying to lose weight and I kept failing because I was making weight loss a punishment. When I realized that and I changed things up to make the journey a little more enjoyable, I was able to lose 50 pounds in three months. And I'm gonna share the five easiest weight loss habits that help me do exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me excited. <laughs> Number one, I switched to low calorie versions of my favorite drinks. In the beginning, I was drinking seven cans of regular pop a day. My fix in the past was I would just remove all the pop, so no more pop. I kept failing because I was totally taking away something that I love. Drinking pop made me happy. Why would I stay on track if I'm removing something? What do I have to look forward to? What would motivate me to stay on the diet? Nothing. And that's why I kept failing because all of the things that I'm sharing with you, I was taking stuff away and not replacing it with anything. Why would I wanna to stick to that? So I started thinking, what if I replace the behavior with something positive, then it'll motivate me to be consistent, create a habit, meaning something I can do consistently every day. So instead of just going cold turkey on the pop, I didn't wanna take away the pop, I learned it would just cause me to like fail. I also wasn't ready to reduce the amount of cans. So I replaced the regular pop with diet pop. Now I wasn't depriving myself, I was still getting to drink the pop. But when I was drinking seven cans of regular pop, it was almost a thousand calories a day in just liquid. When I switched to diet, I got to drink the pop, but save myself almost a thousand calories a day. So I was in a calorie deficit to lose the weight, but I wasn't depriving myself. So I replaced a behavior that I wanted to change with something positive, and that's why I was able to stick to what I was doing, it felt like I wasn't dieting. And that's what this whole video is about. Finding positive things to replace those behaviors so that you're motivated to do something. If you take something away and you don't replace it with anything, why would you wanna keep doing it? All of these things, it didn't just help me stay on track, love what I was doing and lose the 50 pounds in three months. It helped me go on, lose a total of 130 pounds and keep it off for eight years. In the beginning, I, I drank the seven cans of Diet Pop, but I didn't stay there. I stayed there for a little bit and I gradually reduced the amount of cans I was drinking instead of just like, you know, taking it all away. And now I drink one per day. But what I was doing as I was reducing the amount of cans, I was still creating a positive experience by like, introducing a fun cup with ice to make the experience fun. So the amount of cans I did have was even more enjoyable because it was making it fun. Like, you know, we love like fancy cups and putting ice in it. It makes the whole experience even more fun. And now, you know, Sassy, my husband and I, we enjoy one every night with ice in one of these cute fancy cups. And it's a beautiful experience and we love it. And we just gradually reduce the amount of cans and you know, that's how it is. Slow and steady wins the race, not like going too much too fast just causes us to fail all the time. Number two, I started portioning out my food. What I was doing in the beginning was I was scooping lots and lots of food onto my plate at all my meals and I had no idea how much I was actually consuming in calories. And then what I would do is I loved ice cream and chips. I would eat from the bag and I would eat chips and pretty much eat the entire bag every night. And then I would eat from the tub of ice cream. And so in the past to fix it, I would just take away all the ice cream, all the chips, gone, no more and I would stop eating all my favorite foods. Again, now I've got nothing to look forward to, so of course I'm not gonna stay on track. Then, Sassy and I said, you know, what if we don't take away the chips? What if we go from a bag to a bowl? And so we started portioning our chips out like this. This is the exact bowl. Both of us had one of these bowls a night of chips. It's a decent amount of chips. We filled it full, but what it did was it didn't deprive us. We still got to enjoy the snack, 
but we were eating less than we were normally, which was helping us stay in a calorie deficit. And then- The funny, can I add a story in here? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the funny thing is in the old world, a bag of chips was huge and yeah. we could <laughs> split it where we would both get a full bowl on one bag of chips. In the new world, a whole family size bag of chips wouldn't even fill this. So it's like built in portion control <laughs> is, with inflation. That is really true actually. We were laughing about <laughs> that the other day. But anyway, the point is we went from a bag to a bowl and um, that is a funny story. Ice cream. We were eating straight from the tub. I was pretty much eating almost a whole tub. I didn't want to give up the ice cream because that was just causing me to fail. So I thought, what if I portion it out in a mug? And I love fancy mugs. This is our old dog, Hank. He has since um, passed, but we love this mug because it reminds us of him. And look at how lovely and big it is. So I still get to enjoy, I fill it with ice cream, I still get to enjoy the ice cream, but less than I was enjoying before. So I'm eating in a calorie deficit, I still get to eat what I'm enjoying, and I, it felt like I could do it forever because I wasn't taking away my favorite things. And then we went from, you know, portioning stuff out like that, like in going from a bag to a bowl, the tub to the mug. Then we bought like a food scale, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and we started using the serving sizes on the backs of packages to measure out all of our food. That way we didn't have to take anything away. We didn't change what we were eating. We just changed how much. And so, it was like, wow, we get to eat all the things that we were eating before, just a little bit less. And it does take adjustment. I know sometimes you guys will say, well, how did you deal with going to smaller portions? We, do ha we did have to adjust, but because we got to enjoy all of the things that we did before, we just kept being consistent with it. In the first tip, that's what really helped. Like, I did the same thing too. I'd remove everything so that in between meals and snacks, I wouldn't even have a diet pop to look forward to. So that we use all these tips to bridge the gap and help us get to where we are today. Exactly. And Kyle's lost the same amount of weight as me. He lost 50 pounds in three months and then went on to lose a total of 130 and keep it off for eight years as well. And that's exactly it. All of these combined helped us lose the weight and keep it off. The friends, if you want to know the exact portions and meals that I ate to lose my first 50 pounds, you can buy my ebook called The First 50. The link is down below and code Nicole will save you 10% off. I also got this hoodle here, HTLT Sups, best protein powder ever. And they have like a case and whey blend, which is really good for baking. And I love baking with protein powder. Fruit cereal is one of the best flavors because Sass and I are cereal friends, so this satisfies our cereal craving. They also have luckier charms, which tastes like a certain cereal. Ha ha ha, right <laughs> over there, luckier marshmallow, cutie. Luckier mar did I say luckier charms? That's fine, that's <laughs> fine. Luckier marshmallow, luckier charms. It tastes like that, whoops. Uh, Code Nicole will save you 10%. For legal purposes, luckier marshmallow. Luckier marshmallow. Number three. I increased my water intake. So in the beginning, I really didn't like water. Like I said, I was drinking seven cans of pop a day. I really barely took any water in. It was boring. But in the past, to increase the water, I would force it and I would try to make myself drink it without making it fun. But I wanted to drink more water because one, properly hydrated body functions way better. But two, when you drink water with your meals, it fills your belly up. So if you have a big appetite like me, drinking the water with meals helps me feel fuller quicker and it makes me less likely to overeat at meals. And then also I learned this, if you're dehydrated, your body can send you signals that you're hungry, but you actually need more water. So by staying fully hydrated, I was kind of fixing all of those things. But how did I make it fun? Well, Sass and I made like this little game, this little sort of pact or goal with each other that to start ourselves off on the right foot, so to speak, we would every night we put one of these bottles of water each in the bathroom and then we would go to bed and we woke up in the morning to wash our face and get ready for the day. We would make sure that we drank our bottle of water before we left the bathroom. And why it was kind of a game is because like, you know, if we woke up 
at different times or whatever, later I'd be like, hey, did you drink your bottle of water this morning? Goes, yes, I did. And, you know, I'm like, it was fun. Like, oh, I bet Sass drank his. I better drink mine, you know? And it, it kind of held each other and ourselves accountable. But also, when I got that bottle of water down, it felt so good. I was excited to get more water in throughout the day to keep, you know, making my body function properly. And from going from very little water, it was like we got off to a good start because you're already down a bottle as soon as we woke up pretty much. Exactly, so if one was all we got in that day, that was more than we were getting in before. And then slowly we worked our way up. And like now, eight years later, after keeping the weight off for eight years, I drink five of these, but I built, you know, I built up to that. And to also make it more fun, we have water bangs. So these, there are so many different flavors that I was so excited to drink the water because it doesn't taste like you're drinking water and they're not very many calories. They're like five to 10 calories a pack. So putting these in, wow, did it feel like a treat. Like I was drinking juice and it really motivated me to drink my water. Number four, I started to eat breakfast every day. I was not a breakfast eater um, for two reasons. One, I just didn't feel hungry in the morning. But then the second thing was, I thought if I skip breakfast, it would help me save calories so that I could actually lose weight. The problem was, it was counterproductive because whenever I would skip breakfast, I'd be so hungry by the end of the day, all heck would break loose. I would eat anything and everything in sight, go into a calorie surplus, and then I would just feel bad and go off track and go, well, forget this. So when I started eating breakfast every day, it really helped me fuel my day and I was way less hungry throughout the day and I had way less cravings when I did that. And to make it a pattern, what Sassy and I started doing was like, we really enjoyed coffee. So we started getting like different types of coffee. Like we love kind of like dark roasts and stuff. So we keep different flavors or different types of coffee around so that when we drink our coffee in the morning, we have it with breakfast. We get a fun coffee in a fun mug. It's a fancy different kind every day and then make our breakfast fun. If you guys have watched some of my latest videos, you'll see like some of the dessert for breakfast things that I make, like the overnight oats video I just did. I recently did like a three breakfasts under 300 calories and they're all like super tasty because I needed to make my breakfast fun and enjoyable and it helped me slowly adjust to eating breakfast every day. We also keep things like this around to make your breakfast taste even better, like fancy condiments that are low calorie. So this chipotle and ancho hot sauce is so good on eggs and then this is just like low calorie pancake syrup and we like making low cal like french toast and stuff because you wake up you're gonna get a cool coffee and a really good tasting breakfast that started motivating me to eat breakfast every day we also put our coffee near our cardio because coffee is a, a i don't want to say the word but it's a d word <laughs> it caffeine makes you happy about whatever you're doing so yes eating breakfast and walking. Exactly, so when we drink the coffee, we eat our breakfast, we're fueled and ready to go and the caffeine's got us ready to do our cardio. It sort of just works beautifully to help us stay consistent with everything. And number five, I started eating, I started eating a balanced meal plan. So what I was doing before was I was taking away whole food groups like carbs and treats because I thought it would help me lose weight. But just like not eating the breakfast, it backfired because when I took away carbs and treats, I just ate more of them. And also when I was removing whole food groups, I was lacking in nutrients. So my body would start having me have all these cravings because I was lacking nutrients and it end up all heck would break loose. And I would end up eating way, way more than I would have if I would just have eaten a balanced diet. So I started including everything, healthy fats, protein, fruit, veg, and mostly slow digesting carbs because they help me feel fuller longer, but including carbs and treats. Like we were saying about the ice cream and the chips, the portions, because I was eating a healthy balanced diet in portion, 
I was enjoying what I was eating and I was losing weight because I was in a calorie deficit from portioning out my food. So it's calories in, calories out to lose the weight. So if I took away carbs, but I was still eating in a surplus, it wouldn't matter. It's eating anything that I wanted, what I enjoyed in a calorie deficit that helped me actually lose the weight. And that's why, you know, enjoying a balance helped me stay on track, look forward to what I was eating, and I was able to get the weight off and keep it off for as long as I have. And the bonus that I wanna throw in here is we paired all of these tips and like the portioned eating and everything with walking for 15 minutes a day. At my heaviest, I was 275 pounds when I started to lose the weight. I wanted to do exercise, but physically I really couldn't do very much and my weight was causing me serious health problems and plantar fasciitis like really bad, so I had a really hard time walking, but I could walk a little. So I decided 15 minutes a day I could do and I would give myself breaks. Like I would get out there, Sassy and I both, rain or shine, 15 minutes a day, I gave myself as many breaks as I needed to get the 15 minutes of walking done. And to keep it fun and to motivate us, we would go do like the walking in a pretty area, like a walking path or somewhere that it was so beautiful that you don't even notice that you're doing the walking. By the time the 15 minutes was over, it was like, oh wow, you know, because we made it fun. Or we still do this, we go to the mall and do cardio or go to Costco or Walmart and we look around and we shop and by the time we're done, we're like, whoa, we probably did way more than 15, you know, at the time it was 15 minutes, now we do an hour, but we built our way up to that. So that was what we did, 15 minutes a day combined with all the other tips. So the friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that anyone struggling out there, that it showed you that you don't have to make weight loss a punishment. You can enjoy what you're doing. Replace the behaviors you don't wanna do anymore with something positive that motivates you to stay on track and wake up and do it every day because weight loss should be enjoyable. You're allowed to love your food. You're allowed to love what you're doing for exercise, for your entire like diet plan. You're allowed to love it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up if you did don't forget to check this vid and this vid because it's more sustainable fun weight loss tips so that you can love it real people losing weight into real world loving food loving life doing this and just being cute and just <laughs> you can love it sweetheart you can really love it thanks for watching appreciate your support catch you in the next vid cute a peace it peace it peace it peace it oh can't show too much of that on you because we love it. <laughs> We're freezing. We got the spice of life. <sighs> Bye, cutie. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. 